Hey, awesome. What's going on guys? Matt King here and uh, in this video I'm going to show you guys how to use the rearrange products add-on. Um, so this is going to be the uh, demo and the configuration. Honestly, this will be a pretty quick process. So if you add in your products um, to your ClickFunnels account like this and you're like, oh man, you know what? I don't like the order that they're in. You can actually rearrange them as the way you, they won't rearrange here on this particular page, but they will rearrange on the uh, on your page and how they appear um, so by default when you put in your products and they're in whatever order you put them in like this this is how they're gonna look on your uh, actual sales page so or on your order page in the cart so uh, if you don't like the way that that looks you can always come here and there's an add-on called rearrange products which I'm gonna show you right now and uh, we're gonna go through and uh, set that up right now and then rearrange some products okay so if you're inside of your account you're just gonna click on uh, create new add-on or you can click on that number and then click create new and uh, what we're gonna do is search by keyword uh, so if you guys ever have any linkage issues or can't find what you're looking for you can always click create new and just type the name of it in here rearrange and there it is BAM alright so we're gonna click on that this one's real simple um, there's a whole bunch of videos here. Um, I'm going to bypass those. And um, what you're going to do, give it a name. And we're going to call this one like test, live test. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're just going to add in the product IDs, rearrange the product IDs in the order you want them to be on the page. So um, what we're going to do here is I'm going to, I had a whole bunch of them there. So I'm just going to add a few. Uh, so I think I had like four five products so I just added five product IDs what you're gonna want to do from one two three four five you're gonna want to list them in the order that you want them to show up and then down here you can actually select the default product that you want selected so I'll pick one in like the middle or something just to make sure that it works but first let's add in those products so what you can do is over here you can just do a, a right click let's say the funnel concierge for 12 grand um, I am going to do a copy link address on that. So I just did a right click on, I'm going to hover over edit, right click and do a copy link address. And then I'm going to take that back here. And that's going to be the first one that we add. I'm just going to paste that with a control V or an Apple V. It'll strip out everything except for the product ID, which is awesome. And then we're going to go back and grab another one in the order that we want. So maybe we want uh, all these other ones to be, uh, next, so funnel starter, funnel, I don't even know what these are. I think I made these up like a really long time ago. Um, so I'm just totally messing around. So the funnel starter package will be next. And we're going to copy that ID in next here. Uh, let's see, 8684. And then we're going to come back here. So we went funnel concierge, funnel starter, and then uh, we'll do funnel sales copy or something, right? phone call that I'm not going to answer copy link address on that and I'm just going to put them in over here real quick and we'll do funnel plus so I'm just putting like some really random order here at this point and then the last one will continue to be funnel sales copy down here and we'll put that one in down at the bottom all right, and then one, the one that we'll use as the uh, the default will be the one that I put in the middle, which is uh, eight seven, which I think was this one FS copy. Um, so I'll just make sure that this one here, which is currently one two three four down, that one's going to be the one in the middle. Okay, so I'm going to come back over here. You can see that I'm taking that one and putting that down here as this, the product ID for the default. That's going to be the one in the middle. And then we're going to click the red create add-on button. And that was it. All right. So it creates a little, uh, some configuration here. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, that's the order they'll show up in. I'm going to copy this code snippet out. Copy, copy, copy. And then what we're going to do is go right back to... Uh, we're going to come back here. I'm going to go to the overview and we're going to edit this page. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to, once you're in, go to your settings, go to your tracking code, and then we're going to go to footer code. And it looks like I might actually have some older, uh, might have some older stuff in there. Um, I'm actually going to 
Let's see if it works with that. I think that's an old multiple products. Um, but what I'm going to do is rearrange it. And with the rearranged products, if you have some older stuff in there, just leave it in there. Um, I think that's multiple products. So let's uh, test this out. We'll save. And then uh, what I'm going to do is test this in the live environment, actually. So products right here. All right. So it did. It was multiple products. Check that out. It actually defaulted. Uh, the, to the FS copy, the funnel concierge is first, funnel starter, FS copy, and then these ones down here, which were the last ones that I put in. So that's how that works, and uh, it's real simple to, to install. It rearranges your products in a way that uh, you like uh, for that to be. And uh, in this case, it works with the multiple, uh, multiple products as well, which is really cool. Um, if you guys have any questions, um, I do encourage you to write in at uh, support at cfprotools.com, and I'll take a look and see what's going on. Okay, guys? Take it easy, and I'll talk to you guys in another video.